Hey guys, this is Eva. I'm going to take you through our rainbow thin films and nanotechnology activity today. So the supplies you're going to need are clear nail polish, black construction paper or sketch paper, and a disposable container. And make sure that you can dispose of it because you're not going to want to eat out of it after this, okay? Put a little bit of water in your container and you'll be ready to go. And now I'm going to take you through the activity and how it works. All right, so now that you have your water in your disposable container, you can put one end of your strip of black construction paper into the water so it's completely submerged. Then you can take your clear nail polish and add some drops into the water. You can either use the brush that comes with the clear nail polish like I'm doing in this video, or you could use an eyedropper if you have one of those hanging around. As you add the drops of nail polish into the water, you'll be able to see that it spreads out into a film on the top of the water. And this thin film is what's going to create the rainbows in this activity. So once you've added your nail polish, you can take your paper and pull it up out of the water and it will have a thin film of nail polish on it. Now that you've removed it, you can hold it up to the light and see that it's created some rainbows on your paper. It'll be easier to see once it's dry. And this is a piece that I made earlier today that's drier and you can see the rainbows more clearly. Okay, so now you've seen how the experiment works. And I would encourage you to pause the video here and do it yourself, or if you want to rewind and follow along with me, you can do that also. And once you've done that, you can go to the end of this video and there's going to be some challenges for you on how to change the experiment a little bit. So I want you to read through those challenges and write down what you think is going to happen. How's that going to change the experiment? Are you going to get different colors? What do you think is going to happen? And then once you've gone through those challenges and written down your hypotheses, then you can try it for yourself and compare your hypotheses to what you get in real life. All right. 